What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video and welcome to part two of our first day going to Branson for my birthday. So we had to split it up just because there was so much that we did on that first day simply because we did leave so early and were able to do more. So enjoy the second half of our first day in Branson. So we are refreshed, we've changed, cleaned up a little bit. I have fresh makeup on, not makeup from yesterday at school. And we are headed to go to a wine tasting. So there's a St. James Winery. We've actually been there before and had kind of an icky experience. But we were also trying to rush. But we were also trying to rush. So we are in no, like, no hurry for anything tonight. So we are going to go try it again see if we have a different experience um do the one and it's really inexpensive last time we did it it was like 10 or 15 dollars per person and you got like a glass to bring home so we'll let you know how much it costs and what after we go and then we are going to go to dinner and i think we're going to do dinner at the buffet right whatever you want to do for dinner i think we're going to do grand country love grand country and their dinner buffet is really good really good and then we're going to do mini golf and don't Which ask one? I don't know. I don't There's know. So many. There are so many in Branson. There are so many mini golfs in Branson. You'd never have to do the same one twice if you don't literally want to. So that is the plan for the evening. Konnichiwa. It is currently about five o'clock and I had a Reese's peanut butter cup. I found it in my purse. <laughs> She's eating candy. Um so yesterday. Candy, candy. Yesterday at school, at the end of the day, um, my teaching, my co-teaching staff, um, because we're, we're called Said teaching, candy. kind of, they call them teaching teams now, and they threw me a surprise party, and they brought chocolate cake, and we made popcorn, and brought Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and so I grabbed a couple extra to bring with me, and I just shoved them in my purse, so I was really excited when I found one, <laughs> because I needed some chocolate. But the funnier part of the whole thing yesterday is that the microwave literally quit in the middle of trying to make popcorn. Condi. Um, like we we couldn't figure out why it wasn't wanting to um, like warm up anything, and then it like just quit. We figured out why it didn't want to warm warm anything because it was it was done it was tired so we literally were laughing i was literally fell onto the floor laughing and i was stuffed up and i couldn't breathe so it sounded like i was laying on the floor sobbing over this microwave so i was i was very sad about the microwave because now we have no way to heat up the cheese in the classroom drop cakey so hopefully we can get another microwave pretty inexpensively for our classroom anyway so much that you don't guys don't really care about <laughs> so we might have went the wrong direction. did we go the wrong direction Maybe. Hold on, we gotta figure this out. Okay, that was such a completely 180 experience from the last time we were here. We had this guy was phenomenal. Mark, phenomenal. It's literally $15 for five tastings. And it's not like, here's a little sip. Like literally, I probably sipped on this one serving that he poured for a good two minutes. Cause it was like this much. Cause you don't gulp wine. He almost you sip fills it. it down. Fills it to where? Yeah, he almost gives you a actual serving. And one of the wines that I tried, I think it was what the blackberry one. Yes. It was almost the end of the bottle. So he literally just went, yeah, all right, new bottle, and then walked over. And then he goes, this is what I like to do with the with any of our fruit wines. He mixed it with lemonade. And he's like, you don't notice that there's alcohol in it until you're like four or five drinks in. And it was so good. And he goes, you can literally do that with any fruit wine. So if you have a strawberry or a peach or a blackberry or a blueberry, mix it half and half, literally, a shot for shot of wine to lemonade. And he said a tart lemonade. And it makes the best kind of little wine spritzer that you will drink. And to boot, he's a fellow travel agent. He's an agency owner. And so literally, when we were done with our tasting, we sat and talked about cruising and travel. And he bought the agency that he owns at the end of 2019. And I'm like, I started in 2020. So we kind of had that bond of there was no money coming in in 2020. Um, so it was 
it was great. It was so much fun. Like I said, a complete 180 experience. We kind of told him what our experience had been. He goes, yeah, um, we, we, we know about that. And they were fired. <laughs> and we're like, good. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it was really hurting our reputation. So we... And he said that they have the best cranberry when it comes out. So. Yes, because we were talking about that curling vine is sold to what's it, Oak Hills now. Yeah. And he's like, and I go, yeah, I really liked the cranberry um, curling vine. He goes, cranberry. Ours is better. He goes, ours is better. And I'm like, really? And he goes, and I'm not just saying that because I work here. It is better. He said it's the best cranberry out there. So, so if you like cranberry wine. I'm really excited because I'm going to go to our local liquor store. They love when people tell them what they want to drink because people will buy okay, it. We want a case. We're going to buy a case of it and we will be doing a tasting later on. So something that I forgot to mention. Sorry, I had to prop my arm up on the car. Um, we went to Dick's 5 and 10 downtown and they had break your own geodes for $1.99 a piece. So we bought a, a We three bought geodes. like three geodes. And so when we get home some evening or weekend, we will do a break open geode video with you guys, um, which will be a lot of fun. So be watching for that video. <coughs> We or might do. Hut. Oh no, we might, or we might do that one tomorrow and do, do Blackbeards tonight. Yeah. So there's, like we said earlier, we don't know how many golf we want to do, but there's there's so many. But there's one called Tiki Hut next that to. You said you want to do that. I want to do. Maybe you want to do Mel's for or that, that, that restaurant for, for lunch. lunch. That's what I'm thinking. And then do mini golf afterward. Or do mini golf before and then lunch, and then lunch go to the show. Or after the show, do mini golf considering before the show or before lunch now we also have Titanic. That's right. I forgot. We were able to grab a Groupon for like 20% off per person to go to the Titanic Museum and we have not been to the Titanic Museum. you want to go to the Titanic Museum? I've, we had so much fun when we went to the Titanic Museum um, before we had a YouTube channel. It was like what? 27 We were the Strausses. Isidore yes. and Ida. Ida Strauss. Um, Really Which, soon. if you don't know his door, when William H. Macy passed, he became the owner of Macy's. Mm -hmm. And they died together on the Titanic. When you see the old couple in the movie lying in bed, that's Isadora and Ida Strauss. Mm -hmm. And so, we, um, she had the heart necklace. Um, so... Uh, yes, but it's where you go, I go. And right. It, her phrase we is... We bought you that necklace. Yes. It's a heart, blue heart necklace and on the back it says, where you go, I go because that's what she said. She told... He tried to get her to go to the boat and she goes, no. Where you... So she gave her coat to her maid, her chambermaid. Along with all of the money that they had been able to grab out of their room to try to help her with her new life. So it was a... It was such... A, like, I have goosebumps like thinking about that experience. Um, but it's a great experience. And like I said, we were able to get a Groupon. So if you're coming to Branson and you're looking for ways to save money, definitely check out Groupon because you can definitely find some really good deals. So now that we've been drinking. Time for food. Time for food because we need to soak up some of these extra drinks because it's supposed to come with five. And, and we got like 10. And I'm pretty sure we have like 10 <laughs> because it was like, it was just us and the bartender. So... Um, it was like around 5 o'clock when we went. Yeah, it's an hour later. It's literally an hour later. And he was... But that was so awesome. It was great. And like, and he was still serving us like more samples while we were talking. So definitely highly recommend um, going kind of at an off time because you... Everybody was at dinner and we were having Yeah, a everyone was going... Everyone else is at dinner and we were having pre-dinner drinks for 15 bucks a piece. We also dropped $140 at the yes, St. James. Yes, but... But they have a deal where any of their wines that are $37.99 and above, you can get three for $99. So I got two bottles that were $50 a piece. And my bottle of... That was... One bottle that was $40 was absolutely free. Then I got one bottle that was like $16. It's one of... It's their Peachy Sangria. It's a limited seasonal one. But they, you liked it. I liked it. And... So I'm like, well, you get two bottles, I get two bottles... Because mine are a little more selective. And then we paid the $30 for the tasting, which was absolutely worth it. Oh, yeah. Now, if you go, don't expect to get extra, like, 
You're guaranteed the five. You're guaranteed five. Anything extra is a bonus. But we paid $140 and some change. We got a 20, a 10% military discount. But if you don't get the military discount, definitely plan to take cash with you because they do give a 3% discount if you pay for your total in cash. So now we're here at Grand Country Buffet. You guys have seen our video on their dinner. We're going to go eat and we'll catch up with you guys after bed. So we had dinner. And it can't, we came outside and it's just wonderful. Oh my gracious. I don't, it says it's 88 outside, but. I don't think it's updated quite yet, dear. Don't believe that. I don't it, think it's 88. I think it's, I, don't, I, I think, think that thing hasn't updated yet. I don't think it has either. I think it's more in the 70s. Hold on. I'm going to ask my phone. Okay. So my phone says that it's 80, but. It's in the 70s. I, but the sun's going down. There's a little bit of a breeze. It's beautiful. <laughs> Compared to the 100 degree weather that we were having a couple of weeks ago, uh. it's great. And this older lady, when we were coming out and they were going in, and I go, oh, isn't it just beautiful? And she goes, oh, it's wonderful. And I go, it's much better than the 100 and some degree weather we were having. She goes, right? And I go, we couldn't take off enough clothes to be comfortable. She goes, I agree with that. <laughs> So now we're going to go play mini golf. Did we decide where at mini golf we were going to? Not yet. Okay. Uh, what are our choices? Wizards, Tiki. Seatbelt. Seatbelt golf. Wizards. Well, we talked to, we're not going to do Tiki today because we're going to do that tomorrow. Wizards, Tiki, Pirates. Would you rather do Pirates or I'm Wizards? I'm leaving it to your choice. <sighs> um... Let's try the Wizards one. Because okay. we've never done it before. And something else that I thought was really strange, and it must be because it's the off season, we were checking in, and they, there was like a line of people behind us. So like, oh, what's your, or, do you have a reservation? No. And I'm like, eh? But literally, the strip is dead, and it's 7 o'clock. And shows start in half an hour. Mm-hmm. So you can definitely tell that it is... We are definitely not in peak season. We are not in peak season anymore. Um, also, the buffet at Grand Country, they only were using half of it. When just the last time we were here, they were using both sides. Yeah. So um, it was quite interesting. It is quite interesting. I'll show you guys. It's 7 o'clock. And this is what the strip... That's the strip. <laughs> like... That for us, that's that's insane because we're so used to like wall to wall traffic on the strip. Yeah. Now tomorrow may be a completely different story because, because it'll be the weekend. Because again. it'll be the weekend, and a lot of people are probably getting in tonight, and um, potentially later, and um, potentially a little later, or people are at show like they are at the shows that they're going to, so it could be a little chaotic. Um, in a couple hours when the show's let out, but right now the strip is calm. I don't think anybody's here. Like it is so calm, which is very weird. Like, Dude, this is nice. <laughs> this is nice. This is this is great. We kind of got Branson to ourselves, so we're gonna go play wizard golf. It's a brand new mini golf course to us, and we can't wait to take you guys with us.
doing the indoor blacklight golf here yeah. at Juju. World of Wizards. And I have to say, if you have younger kids, this is not. Don't do it. No. There's stuff around every corner. And they're at the very end, the 18th hole, right beside the hole where you're supposed to play is a dragon that moves. And it's massive. Oh. So I'm gonna insert some, and there's like some like gremlins and goblins and stuff that are pretty it's terrifying. Pretty dark it's pretty dark for a mini golf, especially in a place that promotes family entertainment. I'm gonna insert some pictures that I took. Please be aware, some of them are pretty creepy, kind of a little terrifying. They look like me when I wake up. Free coffee. Um, we paid a little around it's about forty for about forty dollars, and I don't even think we were in there half an hour. Um, so this would not be one that we come back to and one that I do not recommend if you have younger kids There are plenty of other mini golfs that are much better in brands. Okay, I'm curly spike kid apparently not barnacles and you are curly spike rivers uh -huh. And by the way, we are now at Pirate Which is now related to Joan And <laughs> by the way, we're now at Pirate Cove Golf Course, which is literally kind of across the street from Stone Castle and you can see this is kind of their party room. We both use the bathroom, very clean bathrooms. But they've got great decor and great theming. Sam's like, that wasn't really fun. At least for me, it was not fun. So we are I like going- I the theming of that one, to be honest, but it wasn't much for me. And it's not really for uh, kids or me. So let's go play some more mini golf. I think you did too. I don't know. We can find out in an instant replay if you want. Okay. Did I roll over the hole? I don't know. I'm still recording, so I can't look yet. Three. Three. All right. So we are back in our room and we completed the Black Bears Challenge at Pirates Go Mini Golf. And I say we both win. And because Blackbeard's challenge had so many steps, so many more steps than the T Rex challenge did at Dinosaur Cove. And Sam completed it, but now we're both exhausted. <laughs> so um, instead of paying for the Stone Castle's little spa package that had like a little thing of Epsom sauce and a little thing of. Um, like bubble bath stuff. We we knew we were gonna have a jacuzzi tub again, so we brought our own uh, of the same brand of bubble bath stuff from home. So Sam's going to relax in the hot tub, and then we are going to get some rest. So we are going to catch you tomorrow. Bye.